a sphere of mass 8.5 kilogram it is attached to the side tree in an inclined plane of 30 degree angle draw free body diagram of the situation find the tension in the cord find the normal force on the sphere if the cord is broken find the magnitude of resulting acceleration of the sphere okay so this is the problem related to mechanics uh, let us see the situation right here a ball which is a sphere is attached with this string uh, to this tree and it is uh, located in the inclined plane of angle 30 degree this angle is 30 degree right here you can see theta is equal to 30 degree and inclined plane is here okay so first thing we have to do is draw to draw the free body diagram after then we will solve various target variables like tension in the cord or normal force and if cord is broken then what will be the resulting acceleration of that sphere okay so let me draw free body diagram of this situation so to draw free body diagram first of all you have to make a point for an object because we are drawing free body diagram for this ball i am uh, putting a small dot like this and in this direction you don't you don't have to change the direction of the um, axis because we can set off axis here which is the x axis okay so don't be confused when drawing free body diagram you know in general x axis means horizontal but don't make it horizontal okay you can set x axis along this direction in which inclined plane is oriented okay so this is the x axis let me make it more clear okay this is x axis okay so along x axis what is the force acting that is the tension force denoted by capital t okay this is the one force acting on this system and another force here is the gravitational force that is acting downward that we call mg okay so this is a vector which is the weight we can split this vector into its component and in this direction is the mg cos of theta because this is this will be theta angle theta okay and then uh, along x axis there will be mz sine of theta okay let me write it down again so that it will be more clear for you mz sine theta so these are two components of the force mz which is weight if this sphere this sphere is touching to this surface there will be contact force that we call normal force because this surface is acting certain upward force in this one okay so that is the normal force in this direction that we call small n which is the normal force we can set this axis as y axis this completes free body diagram for this situation okay so this is part a of the problem the first thing you have to do in while dealing with the newton's laws of motion or mechanics problem is drawing the free body diagram of the situation so in this case there are three kind of normal the common type of forces in this sphere one the tension acting through this string second one the gravitational force mg acting downward and the third one normal force just opposite to the uh, or perpendicular to the surface on which this object is kept okay so this is the complete free body diagram of the situation okay so part first is done let's go to the second part find a tension in the cord so look at this question which direction is tension acting on this system that's important first you have to locate the direction in which tension is acting if you look at this free body diagram 
the tension is acting along the x axis so to solve pro uh, the part b our goal is to find the t which is the tension so to find the tension uh, we already locate which axis tension is acting that is x axis and now we just have to look at force acting on x axis forget about y axis right now so i'm writing the forces uh, on the x axis one is the tension which is positive because uh, tension is acting in the positive towards the positive x axis and another force acting opposite direction is mz sine of theta right look at here this force is acting in this direction just opposite direction to the tension so uh, is this particle is this ball moving in x axis right now you have to ask that question this string is attached this is the cord here attached with this tray because of this support this sphere is not moving in the x axis not in positive x axis or negative x axis right that means acceleration is zero so this this sum of the forces will be equal to zero no acceleration is produced right so now you can solve for the tension tension t is equal to mz sine of theta right if you insert a value look at the required information from the equation mass of the ball is given which is 0.8.5 kilogram and angle 30 degree is given which is the angle subtended right here right 30 degree this angle is same as this one so 30 degree let me write down the numbers insert these value is 8.5 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine theta means sine 30 degree let me put all these informations in my calculator and get the value 8.5 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine of 30 uh, if i insert these value in my calculator i am getting some number that is um, 41.41.65 this is the tension so this is the tension force so tension is in newton right unit is newton so tension acting on the string because of this ball this ball is 41.65 newton okay so this is part b once you are able to set off the equation uh, for the condition you can easily solve any target variable okay now let's move to the part c in part c if you go back to the equation and look at what is uh, the target variable in part c find a normal force look at here we have to find a normal force acting on this string that means the force acted by this surface in the uh, ball this sphere right so uh, look at pre-body diagram again the normal force is acting upward in the uh, positive y-axis so n is positive right let me write it down here to uh, get our equation so n is positive i take it positive and another force along y-axis at this time you have to forget x-axis as if there is no x-axis right if you mix it off you don't understand the association at one time work with one coordinate system coordinate okay so y-axis there is one another force that is the mz cos theta right one is normal force acting in this direction and other force is the component of mz the component of this mz which is mz cos of theta right let me write down here that is negative because it is acting downward cos of theta isn't it if you look at this particle here is this particle moving along this direction it's not right it, it can't move it is not moving upward or downward direction that's why again we can equate this equation equal to zero isn't it from there you can calculate normal force which is mz cos of theta and inserting all these values mz is 8.5 multiplied by 9.8 remember value of z 
is 9.8 meter per second squared, right? So multiplied by cos of 30 degree. So this will give you, uh, let me get the value, 8.5 multiplied by 9.8 uh multiplied by cos of the theta cos of 30 degree okay so this is giving me something uh, 72.14 newton this is also four so this is also measured in newton this is the unit okay so we are done for part c now let's go to the part D, which is the interesting one, okay? If the cord is broken, somehow you are able to break it or it, it is broken by itself because weight is pushing this object in downward direction. So, you know, if this cord is not stronger enough, it will break, right? It will break. So if the cord is broken, find the magnitude of resulting acceleration of the sphere. Imagine, which direction will be the motion of this particle? Of course, downward direction. But we don't have to worry about that because mathematics is so beautiful that it can give you the uh, information needed, okay? It will give you the uh, direction in which direction the particle is accelerating, okay? So let's go down and write down. Right now, we are detaching this one, okay? Detaching this one. I mean, this is broken, means no tension is there. Right now, again, we have to set off equation along this x-axis, okay? So, tension is no more because cord is broken. Only force here is mz sin theta, right? mz sin theta, d here, d, d is equal to, uh, I mean, mz sin of theta. It is, this force is acting, look at here, this free body diagram this force is acting downward right negative x axis so i wrote down negative mz sin theta and there is no other force along x axis, x -axis a, at this time because this cord is already broken and this creates acceleration so i can write down this much is equal to m a isn't it this is the x acceleration of this particle right now solving this equation, m and m is cancelled and ax is equal to negative z a sine of theta. Okay, so ax equal to z is 9.8 multiplied by sine of 30 degree, right? This gives you, if I calculate this one, 9.8 multiplied by sine of theta is giving me something... Uh, 9.8 mul sine 30 degree so i'm getting 4.9 calculate your value okay meter per second negative sign here remember this sign here the this is indicating this is not a deceleration actually okay this is not deceleration particle is accelerating along negative x axis so negative sign here is particle will move uh, this sphere will move in the downward direction with acceleration 4.9 meter per second squared, right? So it will come down from here. This is the common sense, right? If we detach uh, this cord from this tree, it will get back in the on the ground, okay? So this is very, very important problem. So if you understand these ki kind of problem, these kind of technique, you can solve any type of the problem related to Newton's first and second law of motion. What we did here is in first uh, uh, parts B and C, we apply equilibrium condition, right? In part D, we applied Newton's second law of motion. Hope you understand better.